We're here today at American Top Team and I want to show you guys inside this amazing facility. And I've got a guy just inside, a good friend of mine, the Brazilian himself, he's going to show us around. You've got to look at this map, like the guys on this map right now, it's, it's like half a UFC roster. Conan Silveira as well as all the other coaches watching over, male and female fighters sharing the map together. It's amazing. If you want a place to come and do everything you need to do to prepare for an MMA fight, this is the one. This is the place. And here's Claudio. Hey. How are you? I'm good, good. thank good to see you. Oh, good yeah. to see you. Thanks good for showing us around, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, so where do you want to start? Uh, let's start from the strength and conditioning let's area. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, so how long have you been here? Around. I'm, be here? I'm here right now for... It's my third week. Right. Yeah, so... Being a great place to train, yeah. you know, they have a schedule. It's not like, you know, train, train, train all the time. We do like four times a day. Yeah. They have like, we do like two sessions every day. Uh, Monday, you have wrestling and mm -hmm. DJ. And uh, later, we have like Muay Thai. It's like a different schedule. You know? Yeah. Like my one is like this. Tuesdays, I have uh, DJJ in the morning and I have strength and conditioning at 5 p.m. and uh, Wednesday. I'm not sparring right now, so I have quite a flexible schedule. Nice. So that's the, that's the strength and conditioning area. That's where we do our conditioning. Train with like really, I see all the champions here, ex-champions, like Bellator champions, UFC champions, and they are so down to earth, and they are so humble people, you know, it's like sparring, so. Yeah, 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 nice. So strength and conditioning here, as well as these are these are like regular classes, right? Yes, they have like commercial classes here. This is a kickboxing class. Nice. Yeah, this is awesome. And they have some treadmills here as well. Yeah. Like last week we did the exercise that to keep our feet here and we gotta push all the way forward and back. That was tough. It's like That's different good. kind of tournament. You yeah, know? yeah. It's like everything's so new for me and uh, I enjoy everything. <laughs> new challenges, right? New challenges. So we're so where else? What, what other areas have we got here then? So we got this. This is the condition area, and then we've got like what three, four different mat spaces. Yeah, very big mat area. Uh huh. Also the cage, and on that, that side we do strength and conditioning. Nice. We do like sprints and the prowler. The prowler is the worst. Oh, it's the oh, worst. Man, push the prowler, it's the worst. Man. Yeah. And uh, when they say like it's eight times, like if you guys wanna have a look. Yeah, let's have a look. That's the prowler. That's the prowler. Oh, dude, I need one of those. I don't know. That's right. I've never seen one of those, but I can't wrestle, you know that. <laughs> I'm, I'm British, I can't wrestle. That's awesome. Yes. I've never seen one of those before. Yeah, you have all this exercise, you know, you can like go like high crotch and cut the corner. Push, push, push. What do you do? Have someone standing on it? Wow. Do you get someone standing on it? I think I can do it, yes, if you have someone. Yeah. Drive and get that Good. drive. You know? That's cool. I've never seen one of those before. This is tough. We get one of those in my gym. <laughs> the prowler is there. We have all the... Have a look. You work in groups then you, for your conditioning? Yes, we do have like groups of two guys, sometimes four people. Nice. Yeah. It's cool, man. All the medicine balls here, we do like this. Medicine balls, gloves, also like brawlers. Is this you? Yeah, that's me and many guys. <laughs> Good room. Cool, man. And also here we have like the routine, you know, all the exercise, all the workouts. We start with some dynamic uh, yeah. warm up, like, uh -huh. like footwork. Yes, all this. <laughs> so you're staying here, right? Yeah, I'm here. staying here. I'm living here now. It's the perfect place to get focus. You yeah. know, I don't have any distractions here, and I have everything here. I don't have to travel around. I don't have to go 
I don't have to train boxing somewhere, stay in conditioning in another place. I just focus here and I do all my workout here. Yeah. So that's the best place to be. Yeah. Is, it, is it difficult to stay here and yeah. just live in the gym and be in your own head? No, not, not for me, you know, I like to be here. It's not like in London that we have a lot of underground <laughs> and you can go everywhere. Yeah, right. Here, yeah. if you don't have a car, you're a disabled uh -huh. person, but... Uh, too many, too many distractions in London. Yes, yeah. too many nightclubs, you know, too many Brazilian uh, <laughs> restaurants and yeah. everything, you know. Yeah, yeah. I want to keep my focus here. <laughs> so that's the, the cage right here. Nice. We have the octagon. When was the first time you came here? 2016. Okay. I was here in 2016 and uh, I was training, mm -hmm. but I have to do my surgery, you know. And, right. Uh, so then I have to go back to Brazil, make surgery, stay out of of the sports, of the tournaments. We have this place, this match here for BJJ, also for MMA as well. It's cold. It's cold in so many different places. Yeah, man. Uh, and, and how were you received by the team when you arrived? Because obviously a lot of welterweights come through here already. Yes. Was well, it was competitive? Was it competitive? But uh, in a I good way, though. In a good way, yeah. you know. And I'm learning every single day. Like I think I know a lot. When I came here, I was like, man, I don't know anything. Yeah. It's like unbelievable. You know how much uh, I feel I'm gonna improve mm -hmm. and learn. Like my next fight definitely will be a different fight. Yeah, nice. That's what I'm looking for. Every fight look different, look uh -huh. good, you know, yeah. make it better. Yeah. I, I'll give you the tour of this place. This island bowls here, it's the, it's the only place in the gym I know anything about, I'll be honest. They do amazing food. Yeah, I would do. never lose any weight if I was here. Like acai bowls and sandwiches. I don't even come close to that place, you know, because you stay I'm away, right? diet, I'm, so I <laughs> never come here for acai. There should be a curtain across there that you're not allowed to see it. Well, they have to have a lock, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Lock, the door. Lock it in the evenings. Yeah. So show me the show me the dorms. I'm interested to yeah, see where you guys are living. Dorms. Like the idea of being able to come to a gym like this that's got everything in it, as well as being able to live here. And they do what? Summer camps and stuff? Wow, this is summer camp for kids, you know? Like they have like a free bunks. And what they do, they bring the kids here after the school where they do the homework and then they train. Nice. Like it's that's great, you know? Cool. It's like a, it's a great atmosphere here. Uh, during the day, it's like so many kids, you know, and they scream and they walk <laughs> around, they play around. Yeah. I really like to one day teach the kids here. Yeah, you know? At least for like two times, uh -huh. it'd be a nice thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they say cooking is a therapy, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I'm yeah. starting to enjoy now. Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. So we have this card here to get access of the door. All right. So, how many fighters can stay here at one time? Uh, more than 10 fighters, you know, really? each room, uh, each room door, uh, you can share with two fighters. Nice. nice. But I'm by myself at the moment. Also, American Top Team, they provide some houses for the fighters, you know. Okay. But I prefer to be here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be. Then you don't have to come downstairs and train it. Yes, I don't have to drive and travel. <laughs> no. That's really good. I've never seen a shot like that before. We need one of those at our gym. They definitely see the kids like the restaurant and they use it so yeah. Well. yeah. It's cool. Alright. So let me show you guys the kitchen, you know. So this is basically the dorms. I will show you guys the kitchen first. We have massive toilets here. <laughs> massive toilets. Yeah, it's bathroom. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Wow. See, Hori Goshi Ho. Hori Goshi Ho. Like you won last night, didn't you? Yeah, man. That's what I was saying. Hori Goshi Ho. So, why, why was it named after Hori Goshi? Because he lives here all the time. All the time. <laughs> well, in 2016, when I came, he was here as well. You know? Really? And everything, oh, everything he does, he just train, rest and go fishing at the weekend. Oh, so I heard that, yeah, you he know, likes to fish. He yeah. comes like with a lot of turn, you know, he never gets... Um, <laughs> no sun No, no salt or nothing. <laughs> he just come right, you know, like a lobster. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fish, you know, we have a... Uh, look how big it is. It's amazing. Yeah, this is like amazing. I, I can't think of another place, another gym in the world that's got anything like this. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't... 
That's what you do, buy, you buy all your own food and have your own cupboards? Yes, we have cupboards here. You can just go Uh-huh. Nice. And also we have fridge here. Why we can keep your meat, chicken, <laughs> nice. everything. Nice. I'm not seeing many carbs flowing around this, this place. Yeah, I think people are cut yeah. weight at the moment. So do you, how is it in the evenings here? Do you guys hang out together and watch No, fights? not really. No, no uh, everyone kind of... It was everybody stay at his uh, room. Yeah. I just come here to eat something and uh -huh. to cook and then I go back to my room. Yes. It's very rare to see people hang around here. You know? Yeah. Some of the guys, they have like, uh, they have TV on their, on their rooms. Uh -huh. Also, we have the laundry here. That's where... Oh, cool. These gloves were sitting there when we, when we came yeah. the other day. <laughs> yes. Look at those. Horiguchi's Rising gloves. How beautiful are they? It looks like turtle skin, don't you think? Yes, definitely. Yeah, very cool. Turtle Ninja. <laughs> very cool, yeah. <laughs> See, yeah. So that's the place you know you have to machine here to dry your clothes. It's awesome. Yeah, man. And they leave all the logs here. Machine beds, wrestling shoes. I feel like an idiot now because I bought a house and opened a gym. I could have just moved here. <laughs> right? <laughs> It'd have been, probably been cheaper just to move my family to Florida. 100%. So you got so two people to a, to a room? Yes, we two have uh, 11 rooms. 11 rooms? 11 rooms. Yeah, wow. Got some old school posters yes. in here as well. You got the mats, so did you ever use these mats? Yeah, they come here to stretch a lot. Oh, okay. Sometimes there's some techniques here. Yeah, do some drills. Nice. And then you can see the gym from up here. This is yes. my favorite part about it. Right. I remember seeing this on the countdown church. Everybody yeah, wake up and come here to watch the church. Look at that. That's amazing, isn't it? Look at that. It's a great place, yeah. It's like, like MMA University. Yes, 100%. That's how I feel here. Good to see your posters up on this wall soon. You know, yes. your photos on. There's yeah, loads of space there. We've got that's what space. I've been looking for. You know? yeah. that's my my next goal. Yeah. to have my picture here. Like, you feel fights, feel more victories. Yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. I will have my picture there. Uh -huh. Can't wait. Bring some victories. It's a dream, you know. It's a dream. Yeah. It's a dream that will come true one day. What's it, what's it like to fight and to represent a gym like American Top Team? Because I mean, like, I'm I'm here now and it's like. Although it's a huge gym, like it still feels like a family. Yes, uh, man, it's like a dream, you know. Uh, when I was like, a young boy, I used to read magazines about Brazilian top gym, you know, uh -huh. and Carson Grace, and yeah. I was dreaming to be like those guys, you know. Uh, and now I'm American top gym fighter, so that's awesome. It's great, you know. They they have they have like a, a family atmosphere here. Mm -hmm. We have so many Brazilian guys. We have a lot of Americans. We have guys coming from Russia, Japan, from everywhere. So mm. it feels like London, you know? Yeah. Because London, we have everyone there, you know? <laughs> from every, every multicultural. Yes, yeah. multicultural. So uh -huh. that's how I feel here, you know? Yeah. And the guys here are very friendly as well. So it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Place to be. You miss London? A lot. Yeah. Uh, yes. London is my home. You know? Yeah. I'm a British Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> I, mi I miss uh, British British tea. Yes, British breakfast. Really? Of course. Oh, well, you should have told us we could have brought you some British tea. Uh, fish some and stuff. chips. Oh, of course. <laughs> we're, we were talking about fish and chips yesterday as well, weren't we? Was it? Wow. Who was it? We we're talking about it with. Uh, that guy. And he was just—he was all about fish and chips. Yeah. All about fish and chips. Yeah, this is amazing. This is awesome. Thanks, dude. Thanks for showing us around, man. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Dan. Great to see you, man. Great to see. You. What was your debut show? Uh, UFC London. Oh, right. Okay. Yes, Manoa. Manoa versus uh, Gustavo. Gustavo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
heaps of fun. That was my first UFC event I went to watch. I went to watch. I went to like back here somewhere. And I just signed with the UFC. And I, I always said to myself, I'm never going to, I'm never going to buy a ticket to go to a UFC. I will earn my place at the UFC. Me too, I'm the yeah. same. You know, I remember when I, I was training with John Hathaway, he gave me a ticket. Uh -huh. So I went to watch, I was a UFC in, um, where is the name of the place? Um, I forgot the name of the arena yeah. now. Somewhere in the UK? Yes, yeah. it was in London. Uh -huh. uh, okay. uh, oh, no, O2, was it O2? Not O2. Oh, uh, Albert Hall? No, I can't do that. No, it was a... I remember I saw Baron against McDonald. Okay. So I went there, I saw, and then I said, man, I will never buy a ticket. Yeah. It's like, even with like uh, fight wares, you know, I never bought fight wares. I say one day I'll be a UFC fighter and yeah. they're going to give it for me for free. I never nice. buy, you know. And uh, my next show was in UFC London, Gustafsson against Manoa. Perfect. And then even, even when I was out of training, my friend said, hey, let's go to watch the UFC. And I was injury, I was so like, uh, like pissed off with myself. I said, no man, I just go to UFC to fight. Otherwise, I don't go. Yeah, nice, so, yes. nice. So, so get out of my room. Let's see that, let's see if it's, uh, let's see if it's tight. That was an amazing event. Look at that, Brandon Vera Badu. Latest against Mark Hall, Bisping, Bisping against uh, Dave, Jason Day. And that knockout. <laughs> Flying knee from Alvarez. He's a monster. Come on then, let's see if your room's One, tidy. One, two, three. <laughs> it, it wasn't tidy the other day. I'll, I will tell the camera that right now. That is better. This is nice. This, this is, is nice. nice. Yeah. Got a nice view of the, of the tree. When I have a fight, no TV, no internet, no Instagram. Really? You no, know, I want to be like 100% focused. Really? That's the only thing I think is about fighting. Even if my mother come to Miami and say, hey, let's go out, I will say no to her, you know. Like, uh, I'm going to put my, my life in line, so we go for the kill and uh, I want to stay focused, you know. I want to visualize, visualize the fight a thousand times before I go to the fight, so yeah. when I go there, there's nothing new. So mm -hmm. that's my mindset for a fight, you know. Nice. It's everything. It's, it's uh, everything or nothing. Yeah. It's all or nothing. Right? Yeah, yeah. So you don't watch fights when you're training? Well, right? I do watch fights. Just, just the UFC? Just uh, yes, I watch, I watch everything. You know, mm -hmm. I watch a lot of Demi Maia fights, Murilo Bustamante, Ricardo Arona. Right. Uh, guys that are uh, Minotauro, the guys yeah. that are my heroes, you know. Oh, okay, okay. And, uh, but I, I study a lot my opponents. I watch my fights as well to see what I can get better. Yeah. And what I can change. Uh -huh. And yeah, that's what I do. You know? Nice. Like, like a monk. Like a monk. Like an yeah. ATT monk. ATT monk, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's awesome, man. Place. Thanks for letting us in, man. Yeah, Thanks thank for showing you. us around, man. I appreciate it. It's, uh, it's just, it's cool to see that people are doing this, you know. Just, they're just here, they're living in their head, they're focused on the fight. I'm, sh I'm, I'm disappointed Horiguchi's not here though, because I'd, I'd like to see him. He's like the, he's, he's the resident, it's like yes. his house, right? This is his house, yeah. he's the president. <laughs> <laughs> he's the president here. Nice. That's very cool, man. Dude, yeah, thank you so boss. much. Awesome, awesome to see you. Awesome to thank see you. you. I'm looking forward to your next fight already. Yeah, it's a good Have we got an announcement coming soon? Yes. It's coming soon. Announcement coming soon. Brilliant. Awesome. We've got a monster down the other end of the yeah, wall. Yeah, yeah. wait. It's huge. He's huge, man. This guy's like a Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> he just leaves his room to eat and that's it. He's alright. <laughs> In training. Just comes out of the ocean. Just <laughs> yes, he's a proper one. <laughs> nice. Very cool, man. Alright. We'll lead you to it.